Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Take Two for this Thursday, October the 18th, 2018. I hope you're having a great day. Well, this is Take Two, as I said, and I am Jeannie, and I like to share my heart with you today about some unsung heroes. Now, if you were with me yesterday for the Wednesday edition of Take Two, you would have heard me talking about some unsung heroes uh, that excelled amazingly during this uh, Hurricane Michael cleanup effort. And I focused on the city of Headland, the grounds crew people, uh, all the city workers, everybody. There were just so many involved in the cleanup efforts, particularly about cleaning up that city. So kudos to the police department, the mayor, and all the rest, and the grounds folks who, do, who have just done a remarkable job of cleaning up that city and getting it back on its feet again and we do love Headland of course you know Ram FM is in Headland and we love the folks there well today I'd like to talk about some other unsung heroes as I said I'm going to do a Wednesday Thursday Friday uh, part one two and three this is part two today and the unsung heroes I'd like to talk about today are the fine folks at Odom's electrical and plumbing now my friends were without electricity they lived in Dothan and they were without electricity electricity for nearly a week. I think it was actually a full week that they had no power. From the minute that the hurricane hit, they went dark and stayed that way. Unfortunately, they lost everything in their refrigerator and freezer. It ended up being quite a pricey preposition, uh, <laughs> excuse me, proposition for them. They had a lot of issues because they had no food. They had no electricity. You know, we helped them out any way that we could. We fed them a couple of times and so on, but it was rough. They couldn't charge their phones, they, nothing. So it was a tough, tough time for them. So what ended up happening was it was the sixth day, I believe, and they had, uh, and I, the, the electrical fa uh, truck came by and I was talking on the phone with them and they said, oh, oh, the electrical guys are here. I see them uh, working on the wires. Today might be the day we get our power back. So I was really happy for them. Well, about an hour or so later, my phone rang and it was my friends and they said, well, that's not good news. And it was like, what's going on? And they said, well, turns out that not only did our power get turned off because of the storm, because of, of issues with, uh, with the electricity, with the electric company, but there was damage done to our house. And it's our responsibility that this uh, electrical issue uh, that broke at our house, we're responsible for paying for. So we have to hire an electrician to come out and do the repair before the city is permitted to turn our power back on. So I was like, oh no. So suddenly our friends were faced with a possible uh, four-figure repair on their house and it was just, just too much to bear, what with losing all their food and everything else. So we prayed long and hard and, and, and they felt real strongly about calling on Odom's um, Plumbing and Electric and the, within a very short window of time, those guys were out there and they were working and working and working. And a couple of hours later, my phone rang again and it was our friends and they were over the moon. And I was like, what, what, what? They said, well, they understand. They understand how this was way too much that we could possibly afford. They also understand that we lost all our food in our freezer and refrigerator and they charged us such and such. And I said, what? They said they got it all fixed and the city's coming out in a little while to turn our power back on. And just like that, they took care of it. Well, why are they unsung heroes? I'm, I'm going to just say this right now. This is for you, unsung heroes. You get not only a dozen roses, but you also get a couple of gold stars from me because I think that the fine folks at Odom's definitely deserve that. And, uh, and... You know, this is what they're this is what they said to my friends when they they did the repair on the house. They said, "Listen, 
This is one of those times where people could gouge, where they could take advantage, where they could do those kinds of things. But we understand, and we want to do the Christian thing, and we want to charge you less, and we want to help you any way that we can. And I thought, oh, my goodness. So my friends who don't have Facebook, they haven't joined the 21st century yet, they said, can you do me a favor? Could you put this on Facebook? Could you go to their page and just give a review? And they dictated what they wanted, and I sent the review off to them. And uh, they were so thrilled about it because they were just doing what they do and that's the amazing part I honestly do not believe that the folks at Odom's did this because they wanted some sort of hey aren't I'm so great give me a give me a a, a dozen roses give me a, a, a a trophy because I'm wonderful. No, I don't think that's what their hearts were. I think they did it because that's just who they are. You know, I went into a grocery store a couple of days after the hurricane and I noticed that all the prices had risen dramatically, just a little local grocery store. And I thought, you know what? You could take this opportunity to be a blessing to somebody, which I'm going to encourage you, like the Odoms, go be a blessing to somebody today. You know, you might end up being the only one who is... You know, I, you could do that. You could take this opportunity to say, you know what? I'm going to donate. I'm going to give my time. I'm going to do something kind and wonderful. Or you could say, oh, goody, an opportunity to gouge prices to, uh, if it's a local motel, say, oh, I think I'll double the price of rooms. You know, instead of saying, I think I'll donate some rooms to some people who are have suddenly been faced with some terrible things. You know, my friend who works at Big Lots, I don't know if I shared this already, but it's worthy to share twice if I did already share it, and that is this. She said she was working at the checkout at Big Lots, and she said this family from Panama City had come up, and they were pushing the shopping cart through, and she said, did you lose a lot in the in the storm, in the hurricane? And this family pushing the cart through said, uh, everything you see in this cart, which was water and toilet paper and things like that, she said, uh, that's everything we own now. So there are a lot of people who lost a lot of things. So this is my encouragement to you. Go be a blessing. The way the Odoms, electric and plumbing, were a blessing to my friends. You go be a blessing to somebody today. You might end up being the only one who is. Hey, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel at Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Click that subscribe button and watch some past take twos. And also, please tune into my radio station at W. WRMZ.org. Click that listen button. And we too went through some uh, challenges with this storm. So we sure could use a few more donations. We are a nonprofit organization. We're there to serve our community. So please, if you feel so inclined, click the donate button while you're at WRMZ.org. And we would appreciate any help that we could get. Okay? All right. That's all I have to say. Now listen, if you have local folks, if you have any electrical or plumbing needs, by all means, visit the fine folks at Odom's and you will be blessed. Okay, go give them business because they surely deserve it for the sacrifices they've made by uh, helping others. Okay, I love you all so much. I'll see you tomorrow for Friday's edition of Take Two. Everybody have a blessed day. See you then.